All right, we are recording at this point, Rachel. So we'll be having all this up to the cloud. So we'll let everyone trickle in and then we can get it uploaded ASAP. Hey, good morning, everybody. We're getting a whole mess of folks trickling in here. Dr. Wag, me right on time. Appreciate him in this early morning hour. How's it going, guys? Hey, good morning, doctor. How are you doing? Doing good. Happy to be here. Right on. We just fired up the webinar, so we'll have people trickling in, but we are already recording on the session, so I appreciate you joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. And I know, Kay, also thank you for taking this super early in the morning mountain time. I'm in EU time zone, so this is perfect. Very convenient, for me. exactly. Um, yeah, um, but yeah, like we did we did ask our community, and this was like the most popular time. So um, we will do if we do these again in the future, we'll take this into account because it is almost impossible to get a time zone that's going to work for everyone in our community. So we'll we'll do the flip side, uh, and it'll be like three in the morning for me or something. There we are, everybody. Happy to be here. It's always a good time to wake up and talk about the gachi first, right? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. We're going to let at least that first 50 show up here for sure, because I need at least 50 players in the game, but we'll go ahead and give everyone a chance. We had a lot of registrants, uh, so we did have an opportunity to let everyone filter in. I think we also are going to be joined by Moon from the Avagachi team as well today, so he'll be filing in here shortly. Appreciate all of our guests attending this morning, being on time. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll here pretty soon. Lots of prizes to give away today. Yeah, we've got a lot of gotchi prizes. We've got unique NFTs coming up. It's going to be a, a jam-packed one, this one. Uh, and I think Mr. Moon has made his way into the show today. Appreciate you being here with us today, partner. I always appreciate the backup. Hey there. How's it going? Hey, so far so good. You guys excited for this Gachiverse launch? Yeah, definitely. Like I've I've been around um, in Avagachi for well, it's it's gonna be one and a half years soon, I think. We've been waiting for this for a long, long time. So I'm also super excited. And then we see people showing up in the in the Discord chat that have been here for all of two days now. Good timing. <laughs> well, everyone is welcome. Um, that's also why we're going live with Gachi Lending, getting people in who might not have an, an Avagachi, um, maybe don't have the thousand dollars to buy one out, right? So everyone's welcome, even the newcomers um, don't have to be around for years just to play in the Gachi verse. Exactly. Well, the raffles are easy for us because most of the people that are going to be here with us today have at least played in a good ghosting savings pool. Most of these guys probably finished the Avagachi savings pool. So they're at least familiar with us. But if you don't know good ghosting, we do DeFi socialized savings games. And so we work with partners like Avagachi on sponsoring these pools. And they were very generous for us on this savings pool. So we have something like 57 individual Avagachi prizes, 55 wearables, one hot two floor gachi and then one hot two unopened portal so those will be the prizes that were given away today for the Avagachi ecosystem but most of you guys probably woke up at the u.s early time and here with us otherwise because you heard that we're giving away some of these special unique good ghosting nfts today as well and so this is a kind of an extra special double dose raffle you're getting love from both sides yeah, this is super cool. Actually, congrats to everyone who who made it through the savings pool. I I dropped out after three weeks. I completely <laughs> forgot about it. Um, it was super yeah. fun. Right? We have some amazing savers in our community. Like very savvy, very responsible, diligent. It's it's amazing to see. Moon, I'm also just curious. Like um, I know we've got a lot of people on the call who are like deep into the gotcha verse and in everything. But like I don't know if you can give like. A little bit of an overview in case there's anyone who's kind of coming to this more from the good ghosting uh, side of things about like what is happening with the gotcha verse because i know there is so much stuff going on over there um yeah definitely so um tomorrow thursday on 2 p.m utc uh, which is 10 a.m est i believe 
Um, we're finally going live with our alpha version, um, and we're sort of adver advertising it as a play drop. So most of you are probably familiar with an airdrop where you just sometimes fill out a whitelist form or you just uh, do nothing. You maybe hold some certain token um, and you get a passive airdrop of, of some new token. And we're kind of gamifying that with the play drop um, where you don't just sit around and get free tokens, but you actually have to play inside of the Gachiverse. You have to run around and collect these new Alchemica tokens um, that are one going to be ERC-20s. So you can just sell them for other tokens if you want to, or you can use them to build new installation NFTs inside of the Gachiverse. So um, you can think of something similar to Clash of Clans where you can build a harvester, you can build a reservoir with these new ERC-20 tokens um, that you'll be able to farm for the next 30 days as soon as we're going live. So this alpha is going to be super cool. Um, there's going to be some super limited edition NFTs that you can craft and never again after the alpha um, runs out. So if you have a gachi or even if you don't, um, you can you can get one by borrowing it from someone else. Um, definitely try to get some Alchemica, maybe mint a limited edition NFT. Awesome, awesome. Super exciting. And I know Kel is like really pumped for this as well. Oh, uh, Gil, and I, Gil and I both, we're going we're gonna to lose all of our free time here pretty soon. Um, I just got a question that's come through. Um, is there going to be a list where... Um, attendees can view everyone who's I saw that there from Kata I'm not I'm not yeah. positive on with the zoom format I think that you can see the participant list and, and go through the panes and see everybody else in there but as soon as we do the live raffle for our special NFTs I will have all of those names in a wheel of names list so you'll be able to see the participants at least that are here but I'm not going to um, release the full document because it does have the names and emails so we'll at least have the list of emails on the wheel of names when we do our selection there oh awesome Perfect. And so guys, I am going to do go ahead and pull up my screen share and start demonstrating um, the Gachi Pool raffle prizes and talking through those. But while we're doing that, we'll have Dr. Wacky and Moon be able to give us a little more alpha here on uh, the Gachi and the incoming Gachiverse today. Dr. Uh, Wagme is here with the Gachi Vault project specifically, but he's a pillar of the Avagachi community as well. If any of you have been there, you're probably familiar with him. If you're not, you're going to become more familiar with him because he's up and coming in the space. Yeah, I appreciate that. We're super, super excited about uh, tomorrow. We're going to be able to go live with our uh, lending contracts, which are built on top of Pixelcraft and uh, Avagachi's native lending contracts to get our 4,000 Gachis that are in the vault uh, out to players around the world. We're, we are pumped. Okay, guys, and so the screen shares up here. And so what we've got is two separate prize pools that we're pulling for for the Gachi prizes today. It's going to be 55 wearables in total, one actual Avagachi, and the one hot two portal. The first prize pool is what we call pool A, and this is going to be for every single individual that finished the Avagachi savings pool. Ended up being 2,172 winners in that pool, and so quite a few to select from, um, but we'll have 36 prizes that we'll go through in order and just draw and list. And you'll see right here next to the numbers on the left-hand side, we have the actual prize listed for the wearable specifically that you'll be getting. And so these are going to be manually distributed. I'll be sending all these out after the fact, but we do have the addresses and we'll directly distribute these. The floor gachi, gachi 22608, is going to be available as one of the prizes for this pool for the entire selection of winners. And then we'll have a separate pool. It's a little... Um, more selective. This one's going to be for individuals that finish the Gachi pool that have a good ghosting score over 5,000 as the floor minimum. What's the good ghosting score? It's the points that you accumulate from successfully completing savings games with us. It grows over time and it's our way of measuring how active and how successful you've been as a dedicated DeFi user. So for this pool, we'll end up having 20 of the wearable prizes as well. And then we'll wrap that off with a cherry on top by releasing that hot two unopened portal 170616. Open or unopened portals are extremely opportunistic because you just do not know what's going to be in there when you crack that thing open. And so uh, this is a pretty pretty rare opportunity because these unopened portals are starting to fly off the shelf. Moon, how many gachis exist in total? How many portals are even available on this earth today? 
Uh, right, so unopened portals, there are 25,000 in total, um, 10K of the first generation, Haunt 1, and 15,000 of Haunt 2 portals. Um, I think we're at around 17,000 summoned Avagachis, so there are still around 8,000 closed ones. Um, so there's still opportunity to get a really good one. I think the highest rarity score Avagachi is around 579, 580. Um, so the max is, I think it's 600. So there's still room for upside if you're really, really lucky. That's hard to believe that there's still room. My brother jokes about it all the time that that 580 is still out there somewhere. Someone's going to find it, right? Yeah, someday it's going to happen. Maybe Haunt 1, maybe Haunt 2, or, well, maybe it's going to be Haunt 5 or Haunt 6, but someone's going to be the lucky one. There you go. I'm going to start spinning this wheel and listing, listing contract address or uh, winner's addresses here in this list. So you'll just see it as they go along. I'm not going to do a, a moment where I call out on the audio. I'm not going to say, hey, address blankety blank, because I'm going to leave the space kind of for our guest speakers to go here. So you can just watch along with the screen share and I will make this document publicly available too. So you can check on this after the fact. Um, Moon, I kind of wanted to talk about with the Gachiverse that's incoming here. What's the main difference between this alpha drop release that you guys are releasing um, here this week and, and what we might see after that first one month with the play drop? Right. So this, this alpha launch, this play drop is kind of our way to, well, one, uh, stress test our, our infrastructure, see if we're really ready for thousands of concurrent players um, in the same instance. And then it's also our way of distributing Alchemica for the first time. So these are new ERC-20 tokens. Um, it's kind of a, a fair launch. Like we, we don't have an allocation from the bat. We're just going to provide a, a bit of initial liquidity. So these tokens can actually be traded. But it's more or less going to be a fair launch with everyone with an Abigachi being able to get their share of the pie, really, by just playing for a month. Um, so it's from a gameplay standpoint, it's pretty basic. You mainly run around, collect Alchemica, um, and then push it on chain to get it into your wallet. But um, after a month with the full Citadel release, like the gameplay is going to expand by a lot. And the main focus is going to shift from just running around and collecting Alchemica from the ground. Um, so during the alpha, we're just going to drop it randomly throughout the map. Um, and this is going to change after the alpha version, once the full Citadel goes live, where you can farm your own parcels. So Abigachi has land parcels of three different sizes, um, like small, medium, and large ones. And depending on the size, you have different amounts of tokens underneath the parcels that you can then farm. Um, and I already gave this analogy earlier. It's going to be similar to Clash of Clans. Um, where you have different resources underneath your parcel, these four different Alchemica tokens, um, and you can farm them out of the ground uh, in different ways. So uh, one of them is just with a daily interaction um, or passively through the, the harvesters. And then there's also some guild-specific um, guild specific stuff. So if you're a Gachi gang member, you have some Gachis, you have some wearables and maybe some land, um, I would definitely recommend banding together with other people who might have the, the similar wearables as you um, and are also looking to, to get some guild action going. Well, I guess that's a good, that's a, well, and that's almost a good segue there for Dr. Wagner, right? Because he's one of these clans that will be clashing, exactly. I, I suppose. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be so much fun uh, getting all these different guilds together uh, and ready for guild channeling. Uh, you know, we've already formally partnered with uh, six guilds so far, uh, some of the biggest ones that are out there and are in discussions with more. And there's going to be just so much excitement about getting those uh, marquee wearables, uh, getting the crest that you need for the guild channeling. And uh, just being a, a part of that event, you know, with, you know, at least 200 other people uh, coming around. So money falls from the sky and you guys can collect it together. It's going to be a blast. Uh, and I'm just really excited about that parallel opportunity of community building, uh, where these groups are going to have so much fun together doing that, but also making pretty good money. Uh, and then I'm also excited about if we see some of the cool, you know, fancy whales, you know, with their godlikes doing this, I'm hoping that there's like a group that's like following them 
to snag some of this alchemica falling from the sky and doesn't let him have it all. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We can't wait for that next uh, part of the release. I think people are not going to be really ready for what we're building if they haven't been paying attention, because I don't think people knew that blockchain gaming was already at a stage where it can literally be like something that you interact with within a metaverse, quite honestly, a place where you can walk around and interact with the game elements directly and not a typical stake and wait type uh, gaming situation. Yeah, a lot of the play to earn games are still either like turn based like Axie Infinity or trading card games. Um, which is pretty basic. I mean, you have to start basic and like implement these blockchain specific things first. So we're super grateful that other people have done these first steps and tried it out. Um, but yeah, it's definitely time to take it a step further and do a real time RPG style game and not just a, a trading card or a turn based game, really. And that, that's what's fun for the players, right? Oh, absolutely. It's the social element. I, I'm already having fun. I was with Jesse yesterday during a stress test. Um, and I mean, it's the stress test on the test net. And so it's nothing, you know, substantial or, or lasting, but it's still fun to just be there and walk around with your buddies. And so the, the social element of the Gachiverse is going to be a massive success. And I don't think that people fully recognize the accomplish, accomplishment of the ambition because you guys are trying to do this where there are not lobbies and there are not segregated servers, correct? This is everything at once all in the same place. Yeah, exactly. That's, I think, the main difference to other metaverse games. Um, and I mean, it's not even just crypto games, like games in general, a lot of times split players up into different lobbies. So you have lobbies or instances of 20 to 50 players. And let's say you're running in the city, uh, you're running around in the Citadel, you're in district one, um, visiting someone's parcel. And then you notice they aren't even there, even they, um, even though they, they might send you a screenshot of them actually standing on their parcel. Um, because they're not in the same instance, because you're on server one and they're on server three, which is like super lame for a social game. Um, if you're like, standing in the same place, you want to interact with other people and you can't even see them. Um, it really kills this immersion of a metaverse. So I think it's super crucial for us to put everyone, these hundreds and thousands of players into the same instance and actually have them interact with each other. Uh, it makes perfect sense. Do you have any kind of expectation on like capacity or limits during this alpha? How many people are we going to be able to cram into there at once? Yeah, so on uh, on minute one, we're going to limit it to 4,000 players um, just to make sure not, um, everything stays up for the launch um, and it doesn't just all crash and burn in the first minute. But we're definitely going to scale this up as quickly as possible. Um, so if we see everything is working fine and more players are trying to get in, so we're going to have a queuing system. And if this queue is going to be super full and our servers are still going strong, we're definitely going to expand this um, by as much as possible. And again, there are 17 to 18,000 gachis summoned. Um, so, I mean, that's our end goal to get them all ready, um, definitely after the alpha. So they're ready for the full launch. That makes perfect sense. Do, do, go ahead, Dr. Ray. Oh, I was going to say, I, I'm almost worried about there not being enough room, you know, in the one district that's going to be open, there's going to be up to 4,000 people. And suddenly this like really huge district that we were all amazed by how big it is, is, is going to seem pretty small. Yeah, I think that's exactly yeah. going to be what happens. And so like, let's talk about the Gachi Vault a little bit, because if people aren't familiar with Avagachi, they probably don't know what you guys have created over there. So this is a community built project. And what is y'all's intention? Yeah, correct. We're a community built project uh, by six of us, uh, longtime Avagachi members. Uh, and we do a couple of things, but uh, from the Gachi perspective, uh, you are able to uh, put your Gachi in the vault. And we do some of the basic things for your Gachi, like pet them diligently every 12 hours so you get all your kinship. We uh, make sure to vote on everything that has uh, XP associated with it so your gachi can level up. Uh, we are going to, as soon as tomorrow, uh, have gachi lending go live. So we are partnering with uh, the biggest guilds and thousands of players to get your gachi in the hands of scholars from around the world to make it a productive asset so you can earn passive income. And you don't have to worry about manually relisting your gachi after 
uh, that, you know, eight hours uh, that it was lent out to it. We will do that for you and automate it, have it uh, paired up uh, with a guild and truly have this revenue earning uh, passive asset. Uh, and what's pretty cool is how we've designed the tokenomics around it all. Uh, so, uh, you know, some of that will go to uh, the player and then the player guild and uh, then you, the NFT depositor, and then the vault will take a small portion and that small portion to the vault uh, goes into the underlying V ghost pool. So V ghost holders who deposit their ghost with us will also see uh, revenue streaming in and their V ghost starting to appreciate and uh, really start significantly outpacing ghost uh, starting tomorrow. So basically just optimizing uh, the DeFi aspect and passive income uh, in the Gachiverse. Pretty exciting. Absolutely. Well, heaven forbid if if I have the ability to recognize the potential of this protocol, but not necessarily the free time to spend a couple of hours every day, you know, playing it and earning my keep to stay relevant. This is a, a great solution for people to be involved without necessarily having to be directly involved. Yeah, we're just so excited to bring those assets from the community uh, to players from around the world to these guilds that. Uh, are going to be bringing players and also be bringing capital as uh, we, you know, have more land sales and more exciting things go on. Uh, I think we're going to get players hooked because uh, they can have these gotchis for free and these land sales are going to come up. They're going to want to be a part of uh, what's next, more earning opportunities, and we can really help uh, everybody grow together. Dr. Bradme, you, you brought up an interesting concept with me yesterday regarding uh, with the gotchi rentals. Avagachi team has a feature for whitelisting participants to be eligible for these Avagachi rentals. And you're starting to cook up in your head like this, this possibility that you guys have at the Gachi Vault of creating these targeted whitelists to help essentially onboard and, and make available to other communities to get involved with Avagachi, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I, mm. This is a great example of just how pioneering uh, the Pixelcraft team is. So with this whitelist, you know, say... Everyone that's getting, uh, you know, the NFT for completing, uh, for being a savvy saver uh, for this pool, I could whitelist those addresses and then uh, have a pool of gotchis dedicated to those NFT holders. So anyone that owns an NFT could come and play a gachi uh, as long as there was one available. And that just is going to add so much utility to uh, the whitelist, but also to NFTs that are, are dropped and these other projects like you guys uh, who are doing fun things and how can we acknowledge you and reward that? How can we add value to your NFTs and uh, bring even more people to the space? It's yeah. gonna be pretty, really cool. Yeah, it's a great, great application there. Moon, do you have any expectation for how many players we could potentially anticipate for this first month? What's your guesses? I know they're just guesses. Yeah, it's it's really hard to say. Um, Dr. Wagner probably has better estimates because he's like directly talking to the guilds um, and talking to to them um, like in regards to how many players they think they're gonna have on day one. But I I think uh, when the Gachiverse opens, we're probably gonna get to that four thousand mark. Um, that's gonna enable the the queue. Um, throughout the, the alpha launch, I'm not sure. Uh, I really have no idea. At first, I was mm -hmm. expecting like maybe a thousand concurrent players at any given time. But um, like talking to more guilds, talking to other people, um, I think I'm convinced it's going to be more than that. It's going to be in the thousands. Um, it, it feels like they're yeah. sniffing us out, doesn't it? It feels like lots and lots of people are starting to be aware and starting to show up and asking questions. This is what we've been waiting on. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Wegman, what do you think? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel, go for it. Like yeah, Rachel, go for just it. Ask a quick question, just because it's coming through on our Discord. Um, sure. I know that it's full in, in, in flow, and I don't want anyone to miss out on the raffle. Do mm -hmm. uh, participants need to put their address in, or have we already got that in the system to do the raffle? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to literally pull the attendance list live from the call when we hit that moment. So they've got another maybe, you know, 10 minutes or so till, till we finish up the gachi prizes. And then I'm going to snapshot the live attendance list on the Zoom call. And that'll be how we source. And so they do have to register to be on the Zoom call. So I do have names that they entered. It doesn't have to be your first and last name proper. It could be a pseudonym or your screen name. But the email address will be how we contact you if you win. There's nowhere to put your contract address, nothing like that. It'll be from the registration list from this call. Okay, cool. So email is key, right? Cool. Yes, email is key. If you get a bad email in there, then you won't know that you've won. Okay. 
Okay. And then Dr. Wagme, what, what are you thinking then? Because you're kind of wheeling and dealing with all these onboarding organizations. So the Gachi Vault's got a huge uh, swatch of assets. And so you guys are shopping for players, correct? Correct. Yeah. So um, I don't think we'll be able to bring in, uh, you know, the, the full 4,000 and just flood uh, just from the vault ourselves. Uh, but I, I think we'll probably be bringing in 1,000 to 2,000 players uh, through the vault on on day one at launch, um, the big guilds like CGU, YGGC, uh, the Meta Nerd Guild, uh, Blackpool, like those are all uh, working through us. Uh, so I, that's my guess is we'll see 1,000 to 2,000 through us. There's another hardcore 1,000 uh, just uh, grassroots Avagachi members that I know are going to want to be in. And then everyone else out there and all the other partnerships that are being made. So I, I think we'll see close to uh, between two and 4,000 on day one. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm excited because I'm seeing a lot of organizations starting to pick up Yale's model. Now we're starting to see like a, an ecosystem wide discussion on rental management. So everyone's finally starting to understand the need to onboard so many individuals. This is the going to be the special prize here for this first prize pool. Hey guys, this one I do want to mention. This is Gachi 22608. This is a good Gachi hand selected him off of uh, some open portals that I was shopping through. So I think you'll be very pleased with this acquisition. If you're unfamiliar with Avagachi and you win this Gachi, please reach out to me. Please get in touch with someone in the Gachi gang. We'll coach you right along and let you know what you've got and how to best realize the potential of your new friend here. And so let's see who's going to be this lucky one here. This one I will let out the last four of the con or the wallet address. So this is going to be for F E three C Frank Echo three Charlie. You're the new owner of Gachi 22608. And I am jealous because you can never have enough Gachis in your life. Okay, with that, we'll slide over into price pool B. And so this is going to be the second selection. So 504 entrants. So we've got 21 of these prizes in total. And these will be wrapping up with the Haunt 2 portal. Moon, on a personal level, what's the best portal that you've ever opened? What's the, what's the most shock you've ever seen? Um, so the best portal I opened was one of the original five that I got from the first Haunt 1 drop. Um, it's actually my Moon Gachi, the one I have as a profile picture. So I pulled that one um, out, of a, out of a closed Haunt 1 portal. And I think it was uh, like 555 um, when I first Shh. pulled it. So super nice Gachi. I got really, really lucky. And over the the last year um, with all the XP and the aging points, um, it got up to 564. So I got super, super lucky with my original five portals, but that's my best pull so far. That has me jealous. Uh, I'll have to kill this audience and confetti. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. I got to <laughs> kill those settings on that one. That uh, makes me super jealous. The best I've done is a 520 so far. And so I'm still ambitiously waiting to see my day. <laughs> <laughs> next no. one is going to be a 580 for sure that's um well i gotta have the guts to make it make a next one they're getting they're getting rare these portals are starting to, to disappear and then dr wagby same question for you what's the best you've done so far i've never done as good as moon unfortunately uh, so I've opened probably between 150 and 170 portals all time, Jeez. and I've, I've never got above a 549. So I, uh, probably bad luck in the scheme of things. But uh, overall, I can't complain at all with how much the Agachis have appreciated uh, as assets and how much they've appreciated from their uh, Hunt 2 portal cost. Uh, and it's one of the cool things about the Agachi ecosystem. And a really cool thing about this raffle, right, is a lot of the value is funneled into the native assets, the native NFTs versus the ghost token. So I expect Gachis to continue to appreciate. And I'm really excited to watch wearables appreciate as we go into the next phase of the game. And that's going to make this raffle and all the lucky winners uh, that much happier when uh, they see uh, their asset really do well uh, in the upcoming months. Well, and that's the beauty, right? Is that these are not uh, just simple wearables. These are going to have in-game utility. So these have value today as it sits with rarity farming and other mechanisms that are already in place, but their value will only continue to increase as the game utility builds out. 
All righty, guys, we are making our way through here. Um, what we did is just took our, our bank of, of ghosts that was contributed by the Avogachi Dow and just went to the bazaar and bought everything off of the floor from the common floor upward, just one item of each type until the funds ran out. And so let's talk about the Avogachi Dow for a little bit here, guys. Both of you guys have some good experience with this, but um, truth be told, it's one of the best DAOs in the business. What, what's the secret? Yeah, I, I don't think there is a secret. The Gacha Gang is just super dedicated. Um, I, I honestly don't know how we how we built this super cool community, um, which has stuck like through a lot of bad times, a lot of good times. Um, we're super lucky to have a community this dedicated. Like the Gacha Vault is also a, a fully community built project. Um, like no involvement by Pixelcraft really. And there's a lot of other super cool community build sites um, like Abigachi Stats, Fireball.gg. Uh, like this community is just awesome. And I think the DAO reflects that perfectly. Like we're a super active DAO. Um, one of our recent proposals reached almost, I think 50% participation of all ghosts on Polygon, which is insane. Um, so yeah, honestly, I don't even know what the secret is, but it's amazing to see this community grow. Yeah, I, I think the secret is just the amazing and groundbreaking product. It, it's so fun to be a part of something that's never been done and to help build that. And it just does not take long for Evagachi to capture your imagination with all the things that it could become. And that just makes it really fun to find your niche and what you're passionate about, whether it's the DeFi aspect or if it's community building or if it's like hustling and making some money or market making or doing community uh, art or uh, making content, like really whatever you're interested in, there's space for you in Ibagachi, like space to make money doing it. Um, and I think that's really rewarded uh, people to be engaged and to follow along with what's really exciting. Rachel, I think we can almost relate to that, huh? In all of DeFi, we see that novel products are rare and far and few in between, things that do things new and different and well. And so I think that we've also experienced that level of like fervorous community. I think you said something like 85%, almost 90% are hitting their savings goals over here, which, which is probably not the same in real life general numbers. Right, it's like, I mean, we have an amazing, like super dedicated community as well. And I think, yeah, just, mm -hmm. you know, doing something new and then also like, you know, having a nice space, like working with people, having great devs, all of this kind of comes together. And I think, yeah, it's, I mean, Avogotchi community is amazing. It's been great to see like so many of the Avogotchi community now have become part of the good ghosting community as well. And there's definitely quite a bit of overlap there. Um, yeah, it's always Always good to be supporting like innovation in, in the space as well, for sure. Moon, what is it gonna take for SDK NPC DAP development? When do I get to open a good ghosting storefront in the Kachiverse? <laughs> it's definitely gonna be one of the priorities as soon as the, the full Citadel goes live. Um, like sadly, I know this is always the, the answer everyone gives, but there's no, uh, like TBA, I, I can't give you an exact date, but it's definitely going to be a priority as soon as the Gachaverse fully goes live with parcels, with everything. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm super stoked to see what people are going to build on the parcels. Like obviously, you guys are probably going to do a good ghosting parcel um, with an integration through the SDK. Um, but there's so much possibilities, uh, like a DEX is like a no brainer. So you can swap your assets inside of the Gachiverse, uh, like an Aave integration also, um, mm -hmm. would, would definitely make sense, but like, ultimately I'm sure our community is going to find like super cool ways again to, to spin this in new ways that we didn't even think of before. Well, I think if Dr. Wagme has his way, he, he was cooking up some ideas to do some neat collabs here with us at Good Ghosting. He's got a lot, he's a land baron over there in the Gachiverse. And so I think we were discussing some possible land utilization in the future. Oh, for sure. That's going to be just so much fun to work with you guys and uh, work with people to, you know, have these like little, you know, like a 7-Eleven, like a gas station on the corner. It's just like a staple of, uh, you can go around, you'll see a Good Ghosting uh, parcel, you can like, oh, I need to do my weekly saving and I'll deposit uh, my ghost there and get rewarded for it. 
and it'll, it'll be one of those healthy reminders to uh, keep saving. But in that same way where I'm, I see that and I'm reminded to do something that has value. And so that pixel craft team is creating the opportunity for value to be created uh, by having these SDKs and being able to do that. It's exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I know that we're working on some some future contract improvements. Maybe one day we'll have some Alchemica savings pools for good gotcha gang members. We'll get there one day too, right? Everyone's got progress to make. Okay, guys. Ooh. Most yeah, exactly. That's a good one, right? Those Alchemica yeah, pools. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we're already getting some more requests for for a ghost pool. Um, oh, we're so getting tore up. Yeah, if there are people who want that. Like, we definitely like trying to listen to our community in terms of like the pools that we launch. Um, so if you are looking for a ghost pool, like shout about it in Discord um, and we'll listen. Yeah, truth be told, we're getting so busy, which is the best problem to have, right? We're starting to fire pools off almost once a week, almost once every two weeks at the latest here. And so it's really becoming quite the busy season for us at Good Ghosting. Guys. Yeah, got a, lot, a lot coming up and I'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah, um, exactly. Um, you're about to have a, you're about to, Rachel's about to have some fun here on this whole next pitch. Let's wrap up these gotcha prizes, guys. This one, this is a heater. This is that Haunt 2 Unopened Portal 17016. I don't know what's in here, but it feels good. And so let's see who our lucky winner on this. And this will wrap up all of our gotcha prizes. And just thank you again to the Avagachi team, the Avagachi community, and the Avagachi DAO. All three of those were just critical pieces in making this pool happen. And it's just been a real pleasure. I'm looking forward to the Gachiverse launch on a personal level. You'll see me running around all over the place. Okay. Address is going to be CE74, Charlie Echo 74. If you are that lucky winner, then you've now got an unopened portal. If you're super unfamiliar with what that means, once again, make sure you reach out to myself directly or any of these Gachi Game guys will be happy to help you understand how the portal works and how you summon that gachi and you'll have 10 to choose from when you uh, deposit spirit force and there's some other details in there that we won't go into depth because that's half of the fun right is the exploration of learning how these mechanisms work thank you guys very much for sitting here through these gachi prizes moon dr wagby you're welcome to hang out um by all means i appreciate your support and, and being here with us this morning and handing out all these great gachi prizes um, Rachel does have some excitement for us because we're going to do a two for one special with this raffle. Like, like this isn't enough, right? It's not already enough fun to wake up early in the morning and get some gachi wearables, floor gachi and a portal. But now we're going to switch gears and I'm going to pull up another raffle sheet, but I'm going to hand the reins off to Rachel here. She's going to do a little presentation for us real quick of what we got going on. So let me stop my share and hand this over to her. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah, thank you uh, for that, uh, Carolyn. And also thank you, Moon and Dr. Wagme. I'm going to do a short presentation, talk about some of the new exciting stuff that we have coming with NFTs and good ghosting. Um, and then I'll pass back over to Kale to do the, the raffle itself. But let's find out what we're going to get. Um, so hopefully you can see my uh, slide now. Um, and I'm going to talk about the next generation of good ghosting NFTs. This is like something pretty alpha. Um, and it's going to be something that's going to really be kind of super different and level up everything that we're doing in good ghosting. But in case there is anyone who is completely new, I'm just going to do a quick rebrief. I know most of you actually do know it very well and you've already took part in the pool and you've been saving. But with good ghosting, we're going to incentivize you to save. Um, why do we do this? Uh, we know that saving is hard. I've personally had this problem a number of times when I've uh, actually spent all my money in a month. Um, and then even when I do save it, um, it's very poorly rewarded with uh, negative interest rates almost in, in traditional finance. Of course, we all know that DeFi is bringing us the good stuff. So we've got much higher returns, a composable ecosystem that we can build on top of, for example, we build on top of Aave and Moolah and gamification. So bringing all that exciting game elements to something that could have been quite boring and more financial. But, you know, it's still, by and large, a lot of DeFi is kind of confusing when you're not fully coming into it and you're like, what is yield farming? Where do I get started? Good ghosting is a great place for, for, for you. Um, so basically, what we believe is that good financial habits should be rewarded. So if you're able to save regularly, if you're able to make those deposits, that's awesome. That's what we want to encourage, because ultimately, that's what's going to help you. And that's what, uh, that's what I want to do for myself as well. Um, so we started with savings. So this is exactly like the Avagotchi pool or any of the pools that we launch. Uh, you join them. 
as you know, there's social saving pools. There's like other people in the pool. You're all making regular deposits. Uh, it's going to generate some interest. So that can be on Ave, on Polygon, or on Mula, on, on Celo. And then at the end, the kind of good ghosting magic kicks in and we work out who was a regular saver and uh, who wasn't. Um, so if you were a saver, you're going to get some rewards. You're going to get lots of good stuff. First of all, you get the interest. So we just split the interest amongst the regular savers. So typically we see between like 85 to 90% of people completing the pools. So the extra interest that would have been deposited gets split amongst the, the savers. So you would get a high interest than if you went directly to the underlying uh, protocols yourself. And the other thing is that we give out is NFTs and of course a good ghosting score. So this is we're starting to add on the, the gamification and it's just going to level up. But today I'm really talking about NFTs. So this will be uh, very familiar to a lot of you on the call. So this is our first generation of NFTs. And we took our little ghosty on a kind of tour of all different things. So our ghost had a, a kind of winter globe around Christmas time. We had the Eid Lisbon Portuguese flag of Brazil uh, for the Serial pools. We've had a bankless uh, themed ghost and like a stable versus volatile token uh, ghost. And we've been uh, we've been raffling these out, and you always get one of these if you complete a pool. We did one for Avagotchi, and we, we still do this. But what I'm going to talk about today is the next generation. This is kind of the first glimpse of what's happening, and super excitingly, we have some of these NFTs to to raffle away today. Um, so let's have a look. Ah, oh, sorry, I missed the slide. Um, yeah, our NFTs they've been super popular in the community. Um, so it's not just us making them. We've had some amazing contributions, like our very creative design for the, the ghost scream and pumpkins and our own blender work. So really big shout out to some amazing community members. And I'm gonna talk a little bit in a minute about what some of our community heroes are gonna get. But first, this is the kind of next generation of NFTs. So in the next generation, you're gonna have NFTs that are kind of gonna come with you on this journey and you're gonna have the opportunity to kind of level them up, pimp them up. The more points, the more you save in good ghosting, the strong, like the more flashy they become. Uh, so you might start off with a maybe a very bare bones NFT, and maybe you're going to get one of these um, pixelated uh, wearables. We've got 50 of these to raffle away in this uh, in this raffle today. Very gotchy themed for the for the pool. And then maybe in the future you're going to have uh, NFTs that you can get a bag. You can get all sorts of exciting stuff. That's the alpha. Um, this is kind of the first time we're talking about it, so it is. It is a big deal and it's super exciting. But yeah, today we have 50 pixel ghost, pixel ghost NFTs to, to raffle out. Each one of these is, is unique. Um, and there's a few different pixel ghost like assets they've got. Some of them come with pixel glasses. Some of them come with a game controller. We've got some pixelated ice creams, different colored backgrounds, different faces. Um, so like lots of good stuff uh, for that. Um, and Kel, I believe, will be doing the draw for this shortly. Um, so if you were in the pool, then you, run, you stand a chance to get one of these. Rachel, let me, let me have you keep pitching for a little bit here. I'm just struggling with the attendance list right now to get everything set up for this raffle here. Kel, that's okay, because I actually have uh, another type of NFT to talk about um, that we're going to also be giving out. And this is to our community heroes. So you'll know it if you're a community hero because you're in our... Discord channel, there's an exclusive channel for you there. Um, and these are the community members who've been, some of them have been with us since, since day one. Some of them are newer and they're doing all sorts of like really exciting stuff for us. So like moderating channels, um, great submissions for like the challenges that we've done and actually really going out there and yeah, being heroes in the community. And we also have unique NFTs for these community members. And you will know if you are part of this group of users, you should have, already filled in a form or sent your address to Kale, and we will get these over to you within the next couple of days but you're going to be getting your own unique good ghosting avatar with this with a cape so we've got a few different styles they're all very nice and metallic but you can see we've got the gg good ghosting blazoned on on the arm and again you've got like the different levels different types of faces different types of bodies um, and these are going to be raffled out straight away to the community well this week to the community heroes but as I say, both of these, it's just the beginning. This is really just kind of a tease. Um, but these, these specific, uh, like the pixel 
um, NFTs, we're never going to have them again. So this is actually a one-off chance to get them. So this is going to be super rare. And the community heroes, um, these we will still keep giving some out to community heroes when we see like amazing people um, in our community, but they are going to be again rare. So everyone who gets one of these, either a pixel or a community hero, you're really early on in getting on board the next generation of good ghosting NFTs. Um, but there's a lot more coming to support what you can do with these NFTs. I can't talk too much about it now, but the good news is anyone who has either of these NFTs is already ahead and already at the beginning of the journey of leveling up their NFT and getting a kind of pimped up super saver NFT, which is going to be, you know, ultimately your awesome kind of crypto native credit rating saving profile. So that's pretty much what we have. Um, how are things going on your end, Kale, for the for the it's, uh it's gonna it's gonna be a stopgap solution here, I do believe. So the the and, you know, truth be told, the issue is I need to pull the report for the attendance, but it doesn't give me that report until the meeting is closed. And so I can't pull a live list currently. And so what I can do is I can see that there are 88 participants on this call, and I know I'm gonna get the cross-reference of that once I end this call. And so for the purposes of this drawing, the simplest solution I can think of is I'm going to put number one through 88 in the wheel of names, and then we'll draw the 50 against those slots. And then I'll just cross-reference those after the fact. It's going to truly be the only solution currently. Well, thank you for finding that solution. We can do the draw now, and then we will like share on on the Discord channel how they correspond. So everyone who has joined to like on the call, thank you for joining. Your name is down there. Um, we're just going to have to wait till we get the report at the end so that we can match them up. Um, but you're here in the call, so that's all good. That's all you needed to do. Um, let me let me just import this to the wheel of names. So I got an index list, and then we're ready to rock and roll. 88 is what I need. 88 is what I got. All righty. The beauty of, of live, right? Live is always exciting. You never know what's going to happen. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, there we go. We got our 88 entrance here. Let me get this all pulled back up and get back to screen share. We'll be in good shape here. There you go. Okay. Looks good. Get back here. Replace the spotlight here. And then let me get back to screen share. There we go, guys. Appreciate your patience. Okay, does that look all right? Looks perfect. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. So this is going to be not as a uh, as exciting as it could be because it's always nice to see your name go up on the winners list. And so I will release this after the fact. We'll do this in the Twitter and the Discord and get some cross reference done so that way you'll know. Um, but I will have your email tethered to this, and so you'll get an email directly from me as well, letting you know that you're one of these winners of these fifty good ghosting unique NFTs, and we'll get these distributed here shortly. I think Rachel, you're holding this whole bag, aren't you? These guys already exist, don't they? Yes, we've got Virage working on it. Like he's just traveling back from East Dubai. So if it takes like one or two days, that would just be as he's in transit. But we have the artwork and everything is ready to go. We've got the traits. Everything is ready there. So we will be we'll be getting these out to you this week. All right. Rock and roll. We got 50 bad boys. To find it is a good chance, isn't four. it? 50 out of 88. It's, it's uh, a, it it's a very, good. absolutely. This is. This is worth the individual time to wake up this morning if it's morning for you. If not, if it's the middle of the day, then lucky you, we picked good hours for you. Okay. All right. This is kind of nice to have these simple numbers. I can't remember the last time I had a drawing with just simple simple stats there i did just get a message there my internet connection may be getting a little unstable so let me know if the stream is getting a little choppy there and i'll help help out okay guys we're excited for these nfts here there's a lot of discussion at the team retreat on this future strategy and this is uh, just the very beginnings quite honestly we couldn't help ourselves and just wanted to get something out in the world so that way you guys can get a sense of what's coming at you here but we've got some big agenda yeah, it's all going to start to make a lot more sense. There's a lot of development work going on in the background. Um, and these are just a little bit of a tease. Um, so hold on to them and, you know, stick them up, put them up as your profile picture. Like, they're only going to get better over time. We're going to bring more functionality into them and and really be quite, uh, as, uh, as Kay was saying, it's all about kind of innovating and doing new, exciting stuff. And I think this is like a great example of like, bringing that extra utility to NFTs, just like Avogotchi does and, and uh, 
yeah, just jazzing them up basically. Absolutely. Well, and I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if we wouldn't be able to convince the kind Dr. Wagme to consider these lucky 50 holders for a potential whitelist for some Avogadro rental action in the near future. No reason we couldn't do that. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's the, the nice thing of the mechanism is is now uh, as as more communities build out more utility, we're going to see this ability to cross reference and cross pollinate communities, and so that's always going to be a nice thing. Yeah, it's all about being composable, right? You can build on top, open smart contracts, and that's where the innovation comes from. And in that regard, actually talking about composability, Rachel, is there any kind of glean that you can give us on future strategy for good ghosting? I know that we're, we're essentially Ave and Lula based right now. Is there anything else on the agenda? I can give a little bit of, uh, again, a little bit of alpha. We do have some something a bit more curvaceous coming. So look, <laughs> look, out, for, uh, look out for a new shape of a yield generating uh, in our pools. That's all I'm going to say. That's uh, we well haven't done. Yeah, so that's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, you've got to turn up to these calls because you get a lot of alpha. That's that's the beauty of being in the in the community raffle. And you get brilliant odds of uh, of getting an NFT. Speaking I of. Be a few get a two, I, I, get, I think there's going to be a few people who are going to be walking away with more than one here. I get the feeling. Um, the, the good news here is this does remove, it actually removes a winning entry. So no double winners here. Ah, yeah, everyone's okay. going to be a one-off here. Yeah, it does. It does kind of guard from that. So everyone does have a really good odd and it only gets better as we move along. And then we haven't even published uh, details yet on this one, but I do need to confirm with Charles, but I do believe that we're on track for having our our Matic March pool raffle this Saturday, April 2nd. This is when Charles from Jungle Color was originally available. And so we may have something else that I'd be releasing information on today. We just can't overwhelm you guys. It gets so busy sometimes. We really have to kind of throttle how much we throw at you. No, no weekend rest. It always keeps going, you know? Oh, I'm loving my DeFi dream of a living here. You never know what kind of hours of the day you're going to need to work, but as long as you're working, you're working. I have uh, had this amazing opportunity to meet people on such an international scale that I, it's, I didn't have this opportunity via my real life. And so Web3 is, honestly, it's actually expanded my socialization and, and taught me more about the world. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're about halfway through here. These are going quick and fast. And then the timing looks decent because we'll be right at, I think, almost just right at the hour by the time we get this one here done. So I appreciate everyone's time. I know that you know, once again, we carved out different portions of everyone's day, depending on where you are, but we appreciate you sacrificing that with us. You know, Dr. Wagner's got school duty coming up pretty soon, so I really appreciate that free time. Oh, pleasure to be here. The challenges that we're going to have too with these NFTs is living on this cross-chain world, right? Good ghosting is not a single single show pony. We move all over the place, and so we've got lots of good techniques and tricks to to find and to develop as we expand on this NFT strategy. Yeah, we like to keep our developers' brains busy to communicate <laughs> with some good hard problems there. But these NFTs today, we are going to be minting them on Polygon. Just yeah. in case anyone is, is, is wondering, this will be a Polygon. Good um, clarification there, actually. Good to know. There will be a day where that chain of issuance may not matter for NFTs, but we're not there yet. Has there ever been any, any rumors of Avagotchi going multi-chain mm. or is it purely purely polygon uh abigachis actually are on ethereum or well they are bridgeable to ethereum yeah. so we um we made it possible for them to be bridged so they can also be traded on OpenSea, where well it's still most of the mo volume for for nfts um i guess there's also some on solana and obviously polygon is also um, really getting up there. Um, the NFT volumes on Polygon are super heating up. But like for full gameplay, cross-chain, 
probably isn't on the roadmap unless something drastic changes. Like Polygon has been super helpful. Um, it's really comfy on Polygon. Um, there's yeah. no reason really to, to expand yet. Maybe in the future, um, maybe like, uh, like you said, it's not even gonna matter uh, where the NFTs are issued and you're just gonna be in, in crypto or on a blockchain. Yeah, I know there's a lot of smart brains working away at these problems at the moment, and it's going to be interesting to see how this gets solved. But uh, yeah, like being on mainnet and then bridging to Polygon makes complete sense. Cough, cough, CeeLo, cough, cough. Also, CeeLo is great. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, uh, Moon, Dr. Wagney, and Gach Yang, if you guys have no experience or exposure to the CeeLo ecosystem, it is quite impressive. I, I was in the same boat. I didn't know much about it till I got on board with Good Ghosting and started experimenting and exploring last October, November. And it, it just feels like Polygon all over again last February 2021. It's just young and it works well and it's cheap to use. And there's a lot of very active and engaged community members over there. It's a good, good ecosystem. I'm, I'm pleased with it. Yeah, I've heard good things about CeeLo. Um, the thing is, there's just so much different ecosystems popping up everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. It's really hard to keep track of everything. Um, for me personally, at least, like I used to be active on, on every new thing popping up, like on Solana when it was early, um, on all these different side chains. But at this point, there's just way too much happening to, to be everywhere. It, it feels like we're almost needing to condense once again as power users. Like it's too much right now to, to try to wander the whole ecosystem. It's yeah, not possible yeah. anymore, anymore. For sure. Yeah, and we can see like a couple of users here saying that they've found good ghosting via Valora. And that's actually great to see as well. Oh, that is awesome. Valora is an amazing wallet. Um, makes it so easy having like the fear on ramp there and Good work to know that the kind of they're actually doing their bit to provide discovery within in the ecosystem as well because it's also yeah it is impossible to keep on top of everything now like there was a time you could pretty much know everything that was happening in in DeFi or everything that was happening in you know mm -hmm. NFTs was just part of like the ecosystem now there's just so much going on it is it is impossible to, to kind of keep on top of it all. And I will I will do a shout out to the Laurel Wallet app on CeeLo blockchain right now as well, because I did successfully use it the other night for a fiat on ramp on on a mobile custodial wallet. And that was the first time or non custodial wallet. And that was the first time I've ever been able to on ramp directly like that. And so that's that's promising. We're going to be sharing the numbers out pretty much as soon as we get off this, like just give Cal a moment to prep the doc, but the numbers will be coming out. So you'll know if you're a winner, I think. Fingers yeah. crossed, but I think the, the odds are in your favor. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's great to see so many people on the call, like over 90 people, which is awesome. Yeah, it's fantastic. Let's see here. We got another eight more to wrap up. And then I got a few in the Q&A bucket that I'll take a look at real quick before we jump off of here, just to make sure we address any questions and answers that people uh, have. So there's one coming through, which is, what is the next chain of good ghosting? So as you okay. know, we're on Polygon and on, on Celo. Um, at the moment, it's pretty much where we're gonna gonna stick right now. Um, I think we're just getting we're really enjoying both the communities on, on Polygon and, and Celo as well. Um, but having said that, like if anyone like feels there's any change that we should look into, like share it up on Discord. Like we are we always keep a you know an eye on the horizon and what's happening as well. But um, nothing nothing in the pipeline directly for that. Like we just want to keep building and catering to our community on the chains that we're on. Um, how about including soulbound properties to the NFTs? Mm -hmm. Now, I know I've talked about soulbound before. Like, remind me what this term means again. Yeah, so soulbound is 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 kind of was made famous by Vitalik, but it's a it's stolen from the video game industry. So these are going to be NFTs that are non-transferable. Once they're placed yeah. into a wallet, they stay put. There is actually going to be a component to our profile to your profile that will be soulbound. Not everything. Um, there'll be bits that are going to be tradable, bits that are bits that are not. I can't say anything more than that, but it's something that we have been talking about um, internally a lot as well. So there will be some some chances to be binding your soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that non transferability is a nice mechanism for trying to establish, you know, uh, credibility or just things that you've done that you didn't weren't able to trade for or acquire in other ways. 
things that you had to earn somehow yourself. Oh, that's not, oh, that's going to roll over to one, isn't it? That part, I thought we were going to hit the last number in the range there, but we get the first number, and we got two more here for you. And then, like Rachel mentioned as well, we do have those community superhero NFTs that we'll be distributing to the community superheroes as well. So if you're in that list and haven't sent me a wallet address, make sure you do in the Discord. We'll get you in there. But for this one, we'll cross-reference, and I will send out direct emails to all of these registrants, and that will be how you can provide me a wallet address, and we'll get you taken care of. Same thing if you're in our Discord and you're active and you know me in there, you can holler at me in there as well. Not a big deal at all. Last but not least, let's see who's going to get this last little piece of alpha. I think that's going to be an 83. That's an 83. Okay, guys, there you go. Uh, that wasn't too bad for this raffle. It was almost flawless besides just being able to pull the attendance list as I anticipated. But we do have our winners for the gutch pull. And then we do have our winners for our good ghosting unique NFTs. We've got your pool prizes are already on hand and they'll be sent out directly to the winner's wallets. And so I'll update that like I usually do on the raffle sheets. You'll see them turning green and I'll put yes next to them in a send column. And those will get distributed. With the NFTs for the good ghosting unique avatars, we'll directly send out emails to alert you that you were one of the winners. And then you can provide a wallet address and we'll get you taken care of on those as well. No timeline for claims on either of these prizes. Um, the gotcha prizes will get out today, most likely all of them. And then with the uh, good ghosting NFTs, that'll be a little bit on the timeline with Farage and Eve Dubai, but we'll make sure that those get out to you ASAP. Rachel, do you have any anything else to cover here on this? No, I think that 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 pretty much covers it. Yeah, thank you, uh, Moon and Dr. Wabmi for joining and perfect timing, like on the hour, on the dot. I some, sometimes I look like I know exactly what I'm doing, right? <laughs> right on. All planned, all planned. There you go. Well, Moon, thank you very much. Dr. Wagney, thank you very much. Gotcha, gang. That's here with us today on the call. Good ghosting, dedicated DeFi savers. Thank you guys for completing that Avagachi pool. If you didn't, I hope you got lucky on these good ghosting unique NFTs. And I look forward to seeing some uh, new Twitter PFP uh, avatars going up here pretty soon. It's going to be, it's pretty, uh, I, I will say it's pretty humbling when you see a good ghosting NFT ending up on someone's profile page as their avatar. And that's starting to happen a little more frequently and it's, it's starting to feel really good. So thank you guys very much for being here. Uh, we'll get those winners lists out shortly. Uh, appreciate you spending your time with us today. Keep an eye on good ghosting. We're helping people in boring savings in a lot of different ways, and we're only just getting started. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys around. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Take care, everyone. Cheers. Bye. -bye.